welcome back to Banjo Bullcrap. This is a final cleanup of Treasure Trove Cove. This is part 7, again. I had to completely redo this part. Because DX Store didn't record my audio last time. I keep switching my sources over to this SPDIF interface thing. Oh no. And they don't produce any sound. So the whole video was basically just like... Yeah, so I know exactly where all of the things are. First thing we got to get is the honeycomb piece. It's all the way out here, but the, of course the draw distance is going to be like, nope, you don't know where you are, you don't, you can't find me. But I knew where it was here, so we're going to get it without being chomped by this stupid shark. Die! No, it just spawned right where the, when I shot the eggs. All right, so I'm using OBS now. You know, after finally getting set up, it actually works quite swimmingly. Next, we have a Jiggy to get. And as well as 11 more notes. I know where the notes are. There's eight of them up here in these trees. Four in that one and four in this one. And then, and then up here where all the uh, springy stuff is. See, their last three notes are right there. Hopefully I can reach them. All right. A hundred notes. Golden. Again. And the first jiggy that I have to get is up here. Just endless spring pads first. God. All right. Yay, jiggy. Jiggy get. You're a winner, etc. All right. Closest thing next is the last Jiggy that I have to get. And it's at the beginning of the world. As a result of getting this Jinjo, but first... The shark is gonna kill me, I know it. Get lost. Oh, I hit him a couple times, I hit him three times. Come on. Come on, come on over here. Come on. Oh, he can't get me from there, I can just cheese it. Alright, cool. All right, so get the last Jinjo, and, oh, you can fine-tune your, no, oh, okay. You can fine-tune your swimming by holding R, apparently. Yeah, victory noise. It's two worlds in a row where I don't have to uh, go to the animation of him getting the last Jiggy. I don't think next time we'll be so lucky. All right, all that's left now is... The next honeycomb piece, which I had a lot of trouble finding, but apparently it was just right here next to where Nipper was, and he's not here. Good. It's actually right over here. See if I can get to it without the shark respawning. No shark. No shark. All right, score. Back to the overworld. You are now leaving Treasure Trove Cove. 100% completed Treasure Trove Cove. Finally, out of this damn world! And I actually, I believe when I recorded, when I, when I last attempted to record this, I don't think I actually got the jiggy that I made appear up here. Screw you, I don't want anything to do with you. And another jiggy! How many jiggies am I going to get in this video? Oh. At least three, apparently. Arr. Back up this little vine here. There's not much in here except for a mumbo token and a cauldron. I guess I could have skipped this. Broken pipe. Another one of these guys. Hello. That's nice. The first one we found earlier, I don't believe leads to anywhere except for the end of the overworld. All right. Click. Actually, no, I have, to, I have to open the level first, which I discovered last time was I have to go back down here.
So you can't open this world until you get the uh, spring shock pad thing. Yeah! And Bottles teaches you how to press Z. Alright. That way you don't have to enter them one by one. Clunker's Cavern. Last time I tried recording, I made it into the cavern. I met Clanker. He's a giant robot shark that is actually friendly. Freedom. And then right after I stopped re recording, I drowned. I freaking drowned. And then I looked back and I saw that all of my audio was gone. And I was like, Switch over here. I'll know a lot less of what I'm doing later on. Because I only remember the first couple of levels. And or because they're easier? I don't know. Let's go up there first. Ah, there's, there's a gate down there too. And another mine. Jeez. I'm doing this again. Oh my fucking god. There's Brintilda. Young ones. Crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. Alright, alright. That's. Ooh, burgers, fries, and chips. Okay, I don't have to show all of those on screen. I'll just, uh, I'll just note them for later because I know I know what we're gonna need them for. Actually, I, I skipped the uh, dialogue, but she says we'll need them to avoid a fiery fate, which we'll see at the end of the level. I'll have to remember everything that she tells me about her sister Gruntilda, because it will help me. What's up here, eh? Oh, that's a picture to another world. You know what? We got enough jiggies. Just put them all up there so we don't have to do this later. Bubble Gloop Swamp. It'll probably be a while before we go there. Alright. We have access to Clanker's Cavern. Let's go there. Avoid a stupid mine. Can I dive? Probably not. Arr. I already did this, right? Yeah, I already did it. Do I need health? Nope, no health needed. Second level, bad jigsaw effect. Just one new move. Oh yeah, I doubt that. All right, let's see. I believe there's just a bunch of notes and a Jinjo up here. And then we'll go meet Clanker. He's a nice fellow. Gold feather. Mumbo token! No mumbo in this stage yet. Uh, just kind of speed running this a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my face. Jinjo! Should be more notes down here, I think. I know there's notes in there, but that's where we have to go. We're gonna go everywhere else but first. Alright, nothing of value. Let's go into the meat and potatoes of the world. Do -do -do -do. Now, of course, everything's for everyone's first reaction is ah, it's a giant thing with teeth. But he turns out to be alright. 
Here's a few gold teeth. It's one of those types with the fake teeth. Alright, let's go immediately free him because I believe that will pretty much open up the rest of the world. Up the level, I guess. You can't really call it a world, it's kind of small. Hard to believe they fit 10 jiggies in this little bitty space. Because that's pretty much all of it, I think. Alright. First of all, we need a source of air. Because down here, it's going to take a while to swim up. There we go. Alright. It's Gloop. He gives these little bubbles. And we can replenish our air. We gotta swim through this keyhole three times. Simple enough, but then getting back. Ooh, look how I, I did a quick stop there because I used R. See? Don't underestimate the power of R. You're free now! Rise! Could have detached the chain completely, but whatever. All right, collect notes. Ah! Uh, I think there's a Jindo down here too. Can I, can I hear one? Oh, there's a, there's a Jindo. Don't whistle at me. I'll rescue you when I damn well please. Mr. Note. Yeah, I'm, I used R and I still failed. Alright, hopefully we don't drown like we did the last recording, which never saw the light of day. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to get all the underwater stuff done first. Unless I have to backtrack. Alright, is there anything else? Or can I go to the top? I'm going to get one more bubble. Or two more, since they only replenish two air. Don't die. Don't die. Alright, go to the top. You must hurry, Banjo. Can't forget to breathe air. Alright, we're golden. Let's see what other stuff there is down here. I know there's a bunch of containers that I haven't seen yet. Oh, yes. Lots of notes, lots of notes. And you can't even do anything to uh, to make your air meter go up, can you? That is until Banjo 2E, I guess. I will get better at this, I promise. Better at this swimming thing. Which should be good for some later levels. Oh no. Alright, I got this. Yeah, there are a lot of caves around here. I'm going to have to go through each one of them. I think one of them's locked, though. Eggs? There's just eggs in there? Yep. Screw that. I don't need eggs. I already went in here, right? Alright, just one more of these little tubes I gotta go in. More notes, maybe? Ah, oh, feathers. I think I have max feathers. Not like I can grab them anyway. Oh, I think this is the one where... Is this the tunnel that you have to do like a time thing? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, there's a Jinjo at least. Three of five already. Alright, so it's just a straightforward go through this cave cave. 
I know one of these has like a mini boss fight. I'm surprised Clanker. Like you would think that Clanker would be the one, right? Big boss fight. This isn't where I came in, right? Is it? Oh no, this is behind. So. Perhaps this is it. No. What? I was behind him, right? Huh. Well, we'll figure it out next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in part eight.